welcome to my youtube channel for you for the first time please hit the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so each time i upload a new video you're going to be notified about it and if you're returning welcome it's your girl Luz Nell, and welcome to thoughts by Luz Nell. and i'm going to be talking about the kind of assurance you need to know if your relationship is going somewhere the assurance you need to know if your relationship is going somewhere i'm a lady so at some point in this video i'm going to be biased not biased by the information biased by using a male on, in more of my examples but this applies to both sexes what can you know that this relationship is leading to somewhere i believe that some of us are raised up in in a particular way and we think that we have this mindset that there are certain things we should not do we should not act in a particular way in a relationship and because it will portray some kind of um, um, um behavior or character in us most um the society has made it to look like if a lady is demanding for money from a man is because she's materialistic or if she's demanding for her to for things for her buildings and for a lot of things or money it shows that she's materialistic but that's the society for you but there's a lot of reality in all of this that we need to check everybody needs assurance in their relationship this is why many people break up from relationships and people stay in relationship for nine years you have a child and you're not married to this person because this person didn't show you any form of assurance but you kept on staying there after so many relationships i sat down to talk with somebody who was much more younger than me but with a very high iq when it comes to all of these type of things and then i could i could pick out the problem that i was facing in all of my relationships i always would talk about myself because this is from where i get my thoughts and what when we were discussing he was like first of all you need to know this each time you break up from a relationship it's not good to get into another relationship you need to first of all sit down to evaluate what went wrong or even if you've been going in getting into so many relationships and it keeps breaking and it keeps breaking you need to first of all sit down to calculate what was going wrong what was the issue what is it that i'm not getting what is it that what information am i supposed to get that i'm not getting to keep a relationship so when i sat down with this person i'm going to keep his his information for for several reasons his his details for several reasons and he began to say some things to me he said one of the things that will you should know as a lady is that you need a form of assurance to know if that relationship is going somewhere now this is just this is this may this may be particular to some people this information may be particular to some people but to a greater extent it's exactly what you need to keep on being in a relationship or to wait a little longer assurance and when what do i talk about assurance if i am assured right now that if i can call my dad and i'm like daddy i need this he will always answer me he will always find a way to get me that thing that i need is that form of assurance that I know that if I get to this point, he would it's because he has always been doing it and I know that he can always keep on doing it. That's her side. But we get into relationships and stay in relationships when we do not have any form of assurance. And now you'll be asking me, what is that assurance that you need for any relationship? I'll tell you the only and most important assurance that you need to know or have is investment. Now, this is in so many phases. If somebody is not investing in you, in any of the phases I'm going to be talking about, please just walk out of that relationship. Because most of the times, and it must be balanced, you won't, should not have just one of the investments. Because if you have just one of the investments, there is still a problem. That is it. And many of us get into relationships, like I mentioned in the beginning, because you, you were brought up right, you think it's not right for you to demand from a guy something, and, and you think that it's wrong for you to ask a guy something or ask the guy to do something for you. No, 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 no. We get it all wrong, especially us who are well brought up. I'm talking about myself because I know there are some things I don't do, there are things I cannot do because of how I was brought up. But that has been an issue. Because you feel like, okay, if I demand for this, it shows that I am this and um, because it makes me little, it belittle me. And wrong. This is it. The first kind of investment that you need for 
a relationship to show that a relationship is leading somewhere is the investment of time if a man or a lady is not giving you time at all and you keep on staying in a relationship like you are doing generator on light on nepa off generator off the light has gone on and off you guys are not having time for each other please that kind of that time investment is not there walk out walk out of that relationship this is it this on and off relationship that's why sometimes i've been in so many long distance relationships and i know what it means to be there's no time for this person there's no time for this there's no time for that that doesn't make the relationship go anywhere and you keep on wasting time because you're you're not investing time in the relationship now and then at the end of the day you see that it's not working because there is no time investment you don't have anything to hold on to there's no form of assurance on that part you need to invest time. This is not about love language. Whoever is out there, the first love language that everybody should think of is the investment of time. There's nothing like I, I'm an isolate. I like I, I'm an introvert. I like to be on my space as far as relationship is concerned. That you should not even accept that in your relationship. I had a conversation recently with somebody, and he was like, "If you want, if I'm dating you and you want to come and see me, you need to call me. Yes, of course, you need to call me, but I because I might decide I might want not to see you. It's not because I'm cheating. You are cheating. I, I, well, I'm not even dating, but you're already cheating. You're already cheating on me. That is it. Because there's nothing like I don't have time for you. There's always a saying: nobody is busy for the one that they love." There are times when I come back from work and I'm so tired, but I'll still stay on the phone with my loved ones because it is necessary. You never get tired of, of spending time with your loved ones because that's the, the first kind of investment, the first kind of assurance to show that that relationship is going somewhere. And so if someone is out there giving you time as a form of investment, you should, as a form of assurance to you, you should be very careful how you treat them. Because if someone is giving you their time, they are giving you all of them. Because time can time giving can never be restored. If I give you this moment, I can never have it back again. The second kind of investment that you should be looking for is investment in you. That's it. If someone is not investing in you, take note. This kind of investment can be in so many forms. I am a lady. I can I can find my I can give you my money. I can give you my time. Yes, we just mentioned about time. I can give you resources. I can connect you to some people. I can pray for you. Most in, especially time invested in you, looking into your the things that which doesn't concern me in particular. These are the things that you you should be looking for. The kind of assurance you should be looking forward into in your relationships. These are the mistakes. That we make nobody is this guy is not investing in you he's not he's not even caring about your project he doesn't even because for example i have this project here and if I, you're in my relationship you're you're you not dating it may not really directly concern you but this is my 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 stuff and you're investing in me you're putting a lot of money into it that is love and that is relationship that is leading to somewhere and i know this for certain a man who loves you will treat you like a daughter. And this is why most ladies are looking for their father as a husband. Because they want to spend, a man who loves you will want to provide for you. They in-depthly want to be like a father to you. And so if you're in a relationship with a lady, a man who is not investing in you, be careful those are signs that we we don't we don't this is not well, i'm going to talk about investment we don't talk about coming this month and after six months you're you're there investing time and after seven months you're investing time we're talking about an everyday investment in you have you do you check on their person's uh, projects how was your work today how are you feeling your health the person checks on every part of you sometimes even takes you to the hospital for checkup and all of those things when you're sick the person is there for you that is investment many of us are, are ignoring the signs giving excuses for people's excesses no he's busy he has work he closes late so he cannot come here he is busy he just finished church he, he closes he's tired don't give excuses because like a father if like i call my dad at 12 midnight he will pick the call this i always will relate it to a father because every woman is looking for a father same as if you call your mom at any point in time she will always answer you i remember anytime my mom is talking to me about her sons 
I'll say this. And she will always say that. She's all worried about them, so worried about them. That's the kind of relationship you should be looking forward to as a lady. A lady that is worried about your stuff. If you have, you bring up an issue and the lady is not even asking about it, you discuss to her about it, she's not even listening, she's out of it, she can't even give you any form of advice, or even not that she can't even give you advice, she's not even listening to you. Please, if that investment in you is not there, be careful. The third kind of investment, this one is very important. It is very, very important empirical investment with you mm -mm. investment with you i want to really appreciate you whoever told me this because this has helped me a whole lot if you do not have anything you guys are doing together my dear sister my dear brother please please if you guys are not working on any project together young girl if you guys are not doing something together i mean like for example he's putting his money and you're putting your money into something there is no form of assurance especially when you have that ability like i'm working now that investment must be there we can see a very typical example of an investment made in the bible if you read the book of genesis chapter 24 verses if you read through you will see how abraham now sent servants to get go get a wife for isaac his son the promised son sent these servants with camels with gold with bracelets with gold with a lot of things to go get a wife from his kindred and now this this happened when he reached there he saw this woman this woman accepts to leave her own home immediately accepts to to follow this man because she took the bracelet to go somewhere that she she did not even know. This is a kind of time investment. This is a kind of investment with an investment in something that you 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 marriage is just something that you don't even know where you're going going to. But this is a typical example of investment with an, a form of assurance because she was going somewhere that she didn't know. Abraham was sending to go take somebody that she didn't know, and Isaac accepts somebody that he doesn't know. But this is this is a typical example. There must be a form of investment that will keep you as a lady, because I'm sure somehow that gold on her hand she was like, "But this is gold, though. Ah, I need to handle this." So it's necessary for you to have this form of investment each time you're getting into something, each time you want to 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 settle on something that investment must be there this is not for you to go out there and say okay let's do something together it has to be natural you guys sit down to say okay we want to do this we have this thing going on together let's try to work this out together and say for example we want to start a business you bring in this amount it must not be equal but you guys should be doing something together as a form of assurance for both of you but we both are into this thing nobody is going anywhere and sometimes you say oh we stuck together well, how stuck how stuck because nowadays you can't say that you want to give him a child or you guys want to have a child because some people break up even after a child that's no form of insurance but to some extent there should be something that is keeping the two of you together and um i hope this is a blessing to you and have it in mind that you need a form of assurance which is investment in three phases to show that it is leading somewhere this is no guarantee but it will help you to know this because if a person is in his right mind or right senses, they will not do these three things if they are not into you. Even though there are people who can be so absurd, but people will not go to this extent if they have no mind. It, it can end somehow because of some situation, because of unfaithfulness after all of this is done. But if everything being equal, if you follow these three steps, you will live a lovely life and you will be assured that it's getting somewhere. And if it ends at some point, you will know that, okay, it was because we did somehow something went wrong, but not because you were, you were not aware of where it's leading to. Have this in mind. You need assurance and that assurance must be a form of investment with you, in you, and time investment. God bless you. Have a wonderful week ahead.